わつくんこんがーす。ダンクマヨシです。現在アメリカでは、この前別動画でも話した、あの黒人差別が発端で、大規模なデモが行われてると。そしてこれに関してね、自分もその動画でたくさん話したし、日本人でもたくさん話してくれてる人おるんやけど、でもやっぱりこの今回の問題は黒人、彼らの主張、そこが大きな論点となってるんやけど、やはりこの黒人にしかわからない気持ち、考えっていうのがあると思って、このダンクマヨシのネットワークには、たくさん黒人の友達がおるんやけど、今回その中のうちの数人が、今回の件について、黒人として話してくれるとそういうことになってやっぱり日本のメディアまあアメリカのメディアもそうやけどそのままのことを報道されんことが多いよねなんかこうある特定の人に都合がいいように作り変えられて報道されていたり特にまあ日本ではこういった黒人の本当の声っていうのは聞く機会があんまりないと思ってここはダンクマンよしに一肌脱ごうかと思ってこの今回自分の友達の黒人の方々にお願いすることになってこのシリーズ多分あと2回ぐらいあると思うんやけど今回話してくれるのは自分が行ってた大学サンディエゴ州立大学で遊んでた友達もちろんバスケもたくさんしたし飲みに行ったりもして2012年の同じタイミングで卒業したんやけどその後もねお互い巡り巡ってロサンゼルスで今仕事をしてるとこの人も今撮影は車の中でやっとって分かりづらいんやけどすごく大柄でいかつい見た目なんやけどとても優しい人デイビッド・オドムさんそして今回はこのデイビッドの話で動画が終わっていくと思うんやけど皆さんにお願いしたいことは動画を見終わったら高評価をして感想をコメントそしてたくさんこの貴重な声を日本の友達に拡散してくださいはいというわけで早速いきましょう What's going on? My name is Black. <clears throat> From Los Angeles, born and raised in San Diego. Just wanted to call and check in on、um, some information on this on the situation that we have going on right now here in Los Angeles. Scary situation. Scary not in the sense of fear, but scary in the sense of I am cautious on how this develops. And what worries me more is that. If they have the National Guard, they just showed up today.、Uh, by what I understand, it's supposed to be 500, un-、uh, 500 individuals from the National Guard, 500 soldiers from the National Guard. If we have that today, how much worse can it get? How much worse is it going to be that we, let's say the National Guard can't handle it? What are you bringing more National Guard? No. You're bringing the Army.、And、that's when it gets scary. And I don't think it's going to ever get to that point. That being said, <clears throat> I don't worry about pe- people dying in this situation. But I do worry about our response as a government and as a police, police force to the situation. Because if you think about it, these riots are causing all sorts of undue harm to people's business. And the words that people are commu- communicating, at least on a government level, I, Mayor Garcar- Garcetti said something that、um, kind of tweaked me a little bit. How I interpret it is that he's more worried about the looting than he is worried about the people. And it's not, it's just that I caught a certain specific part of that、uh, speech. But nevertheless, if, we're, we're, if what we're saying out loud to our people, just like Donald Trump said yesterday, some foolish shit,、um, that. The shit that you're doing is affecting money, so stop doing it. We're missing the point <laughs> of why we're even having this issue in the first place. We'll have this issue, and the issue is the police force acting as an occupying force, then instead of act- occupying as a, prote- a protective serve. So, what I'm most curious about is at this point is how is mayor, the, the public municipality, is going to respond? I'm curious on how Mayor Garcetti is going to respond to the looting. Um, and how he's going to respond to dealing with the people afterwards, which is more important.、Um, I'm curious to see if the police force is going to get more aggressive. There's been a history of aggression with、uh, the Los Angeles Police Department, and I foresee that with their fierce loyalty to themselves, that they would just become a more aggressive occupying force in these impoverished communities and will lead to more.、Uh, Murders like the one that happened in Minnesota. Because realize this all started, he's the spark that started it all, but it, it, it's his is a microcosm, microcosm of the macro situation that we're dealing with. By what I understand with the story, he went to the store and tried to pay with a $20, of counterfeit $20 bill. By the end of the situation, after police got there, and some the asshole fucking dickhead cop, he ended up killing him because he decided to have his neck, his foot on his neck for over 12 minutes. 
uh, well, you expect anyone to live through that? Why did you think that was an appropriate response? It was a $20 bill. He didn't even physically hurt anybody. He didn't even get a chance to steal anything. He got caught. <laughs> he got caught. All you got to do, and he's in handcuffs. There is absolutely no reason for you to be this aggressive in this situation. You're doing it just because you like power. And you're disgusting for it. If this is about power for you, then you shouldn't be a police officer. Because policing people is about resolving issues and protecting property. And hopefully, you do that in a non-violent manner. Obviously for you, in this situation, not the case. You have a history of it. So fuck whoever, get, keep giving him a job. Anyways, the fact that he is trying to, he's struggling during a pandemic where he cannot get a job and no one's employing. And he uses his extreme situation to make an extreme choice to defraud someone for $20. It's a fact. If that's what it is, that's what it is. It's a fact. But he did not deserve to live his life over that $20. And that's a metaphor for what's always been happening to black people in America. Because as much as we strive and struggle and push forward and all the good that we do, we're still some of us that are locked into a terrible situation. And we struggle trying to seek the righteous way. And along that way, we may make mistakes, but we do not deserve to leave, to lose our lives over said mistakes. And that's what's really going on here. Somebody lost their life over a mistake that didn't hurt anyone yet. I'm hurt deeply in most by the video itself because it's so egregious but also I'm hurt because some of the responses that we're getting from our public figures uh, let's say, we'll say a Donald Trump will say a yes I understand you need to make sure that you protect people's stuff but remember we're here protecting people's stuff because we want to protect the interest of the people and we forget when we forget as a community to protect the interest of the people first uphold the laws that were promised that we will be measured by equally across all people until then we're going to find ourselves burning shit down and rebuilding